Good morning, good morning. I think, I think I'm going to jelly plate. I haven't jelly plated in a while. Yes, that is a verb. Okay, we're going to get out a really big paintbrush. I think that will work. Um, jelly plates. I have a drawer for jelly plates. Where are they? Here they are. Okay. I'm going to use a small one, I think. Or maybe. Oh, there's some empty paper. I guess it's not empty paper. It's blank paper. Crazy lady. There's some more. Let's see what's in this one. I keep all my jelly plates in these big containers. They're like, they're from Dilutions. They're 11 by 10. And they're really thin. But they're the exact thickness of a jelly plate. And it kind of keeps them protected. Before they stick to the lid. But they, they stick in there. And I've got several in some of them. The smaller ones I have. Oh, here's the one I'm looking for. Ooh, no. Okay, isn't that gorgeous? <laughs> I've got a four by six in a circle, a small circle. And these are good sizes for these little journals that I've been working in that I'm trying to finish up. I just want a couple of whole journals. This has kind of got goobers on it. Goobers might work. Um, I want sort of a whole journal full of just this stuff. Just kind of use it, cut it up, whatever it takes. But I think I'm going to do a couple jelly plates just for fun. See if I can come up with something else. And you will be happy to know. I'm sure you're just chomping at the bit that I just finished my prompts to myself for my Halloween. I've been kind of um, struggling because I have changed my mind like six times and I've told you, oh, I've got it, I've got it, which I thought I had it at those times. But I keep changing my mind and I can't figure out what I want to do. Hmm. But I got it. I got it this morning. I made all 30. Um, oh, this is going to be tricky. This is a group of paints that I put in a little container. That's too much paint. They're in a lit, a airtight container inside of another airtight container. And I have had these paints going and working for months. And I just keep adding all my yucky paints and creating new colors. A couple of them are these little ones. I want to use these up because these came from Target. And I've had them for like two years now. But the original formula for these things were great. This new formula, I don't like. So I just kind of use them for this stuff. Just playing and messing around and I need a here, this will work. Kind of just making a design. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just having fun. There's no rhyme or reason to any of this. Just fun. Ooh. The element of surprise is quite fun. But I'm so I'm so excited about my Halloween list. I've I've I haven't been excited. I've been that's not true. I have been excited about it. The two or three different ones I've changed from. But 
I was always leery of how I was going to pull it off. I'm not leery of this one. That's the difference. I'm like, okay, we could do this. I'm not scared. I'm not afraid that I'm going to be... Well, I never worry about somebody calling me a weirdo because I think I am a weirdo in the best sort of way. <laughs> Anybody that just loves gluing paper to paper and painting and scribbling on jelly plates is the best kind of weirdo, in my opinion. This is, I should have been using this little guy all the time. Except that I'm not crazy about the perfect circle shape. But, you know, that's okay. Um, so, and uh, the beach house got rented, <laughs> um, but they're leaving Saturday. So we are going down Saturday tentatively. I know my husband, we did book it. Um, and coming back Tuesday. So there will be no video Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday of this coming week. Because I'm just not going to make one. I'm just going to take a pre-Halloween rest. Not that I need one, but that's my story and I'm sticking to it. And I also, the couple ideas that I have come up with, I wasn't going to be able to use all my supplies. And I, I obviously have quite a few su supplies here because I just love Halloween stationery stamps, Halloween crafts. And um, I was like, I don't know how I'm going to incorporate. This is only going to take, you know, certain colors and certain this and certain that. But the one I've come up with, I can use them all. Okay, that I would call successful. A successful first layer. Ooh, my camera's really crooked. I think I need to put you up higher too. Excuse me while I rest raise you up a little bit don't get dizzy okay okay that's that's a better spot all right that's the first layer and it's going to dry and we can work on one of these I've been doing about four of these a day. I go, I have them set up on a card table and then I go by and I paint like four and then I let them dry a couple hours later, come back. This is going to be good because this is going to have goop on it. I have learned that sometimes you need to let the paint dry. Finally, I learned that lesson. I think the, the pros kept it hidden for a while, but the secret's out. Sometimes let your layers dry. Now this, because this is a wet layer, it's going to pull up the layer that this was on. Theoretically. Again, the element of surprise. Oh, there's a little bit in there. Yeah. And I'm not a pro. And this, this four by six jelly plate is really kind of decrepit. It's, it's spooky. Cause it's got so much stuff on it. Um, let's use this color. But yeah, like this pink has white, red, pink, a bunch of just scraps of paint added to it. And Sometimes I get mud. Sometimes I don't. And I'm using up a lot of scrap paint that's just hanging around here.
Allie Edwards had a video yesterday for Day in the Life, which is tomorrow. She's doing tomorrow. I don't know if it's like set in stone for everybody else, but she's using tomorrow as her day in the life. But she had a, ooh, she had a um, piece of acetate that was in a kit that's his day in the life. I'm like, ooh, I think last year I wrote on acetate. But I might try that again, like with a permanent marker or something. I don't know which way this is going to show up. Oh, that's kind of pretty. It's got a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little bit of that. And again, I'm just playing. Just playing. I might use these for backgrounds and come back this afternoon and put something on them. I don't know. We supposedly had a tropical storm come through. Not a tropical storm, a cyclone. But I think it went more to North Carolina. We were watching the um, cameras. I hope everybody in North Carolina is okay. But the, the dunes have not been destroyed, so it didn't come up over the dunes. I think there were some high, there were some high waves for us. I mean, not like Hawaii or anything, but. So as far as I know, nothing happened. And I think the, the management would have called us, especially since we have somebody renting it. So, okay, I need a little something down there. Let's let's do a round one. And let's do chartreuse. My, my paintbrush is a little too wide for the bottle. So you gotta improvise a little. Okay, let's 